Once upon a time, there were two brothers who lived on adjoining farms who fell into conflict. It was the first serious riff in 40 years of farming side by side, sharing machinery and trading labor and goods as needed without a hitch. Then the long collaboration just fell apart. It began with a small misunderstanding and it grew into a major difference. And finally, it exploded into an exchange of bitter words followed by weeks of silence. And then one morning, there was a knock on one of the brother's doors. And the brother opened it to find a man with a carpenter's toolbox. I'm looking for a few days of work, he said. Perhaps you would have a few small jobs here and there. Could I help you? Yes, said the brother. I do have a job for you. Look across the creek at that farm. That's my neighbor. In fact, that's my younger brother. Last week, there was a meadow between us, and he took a bulldozer to the river levee, and now there is a creek between us, even wider. Well, he may have done this to spite me, but I'm going to show him. I'm going to one up him. I'm going to do him one better. See that pile of lumber over there by the barn? I want you to build me a fence, an eight foot fence, so I won't need to see his place anymore. I will show him. The carpenter said, I think I understand the situation. Show me the nails and the post hole digger, and I'll be able to do a job that will absolutely please you. The older brother had to go to town for supplies, so he helped the carpenter get the materials ready, and then he went off for the day. The carpenter worked hard, hard and long all day, measuring, sawing, nailing, sweating. He put his heart, his blood, his sweat, and tears into the work. And about sunset, when the other brother came back, the older brother, when he returned, the carpenter had just finished the job. And the brother's eyes opened wide and his jaw dropped open. He was amazed. There was absolutely, positively, no fence there at all. It was a bridge. The carpenter had built a bridge stretching from one side of the creek to the other. It was a fine piece of work and craftsmanship, handrails and all. And the neighbor, his younger brother, was coming across that bridge with his hand outstretched saying, you are quite a fellow. You are quite a fellow to build this bridge after all I said and done. The two brothers stood at each end of the bridge, and then they met in the middle, taking each other's hand. They turned to see the carpenter throw his toolbox over his shoulder. No, 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 no. Wait, wait, wait. Stay a few days. Stay a few days. I have a lot of other projects for you, said the older brother. The carpenter simply said, I'd love to stay on. I would love to stay on, but I have many more bridges to build. <laughs> what if when we have conflicts, we look to build bridges instead of walls? What if when we see a conflict, we look to be a source of a bridge between two conflicting sides? We have enough isolation and alienation in our world. It's time for us to build more bridges.